What is dark energy? Well, according to modern theory, about 14 billion years ago, the universe originated from a single point with a big bang. Right? And now stars and galaxies that we see in the universe are flying away from each other and originated from that single point. Now, it was expected, of course, that galaxies would be moving away from each other, but surprisingly, in the late 1990s, it was found that the expansion is actually accelerating, right? The galaxies are, are moving away from each other, but they're actually going faster and faster. It looks something like this, right? As, as they increase, uh, they're moving further away, but also accelerating. Now, to accelerate, an energy would need to exist, right? That causes a force on galaxies. But since it's unknown what that source is, scientists call it dark energy. And dark energy consists of about 73% of the universe's energy. Now, to compare that to matter that we can see, ordinary matter, which is uh, the stars and, and the galaxies with visible light, that's only 4% of the energy. So there's a lot more energy that is dark and is unknown. All right, but what is it really? What is that dark energy? And so we'll give a, a quick explanation using energy wave theory, but first it's helpful for a quick recap of a few key points from EWT. First off, particle masses and forces were derived from a single equation and includes the following wave constants and variables. Now that rho symbol looks like a P, density is the key one here, but you can see the others. But the reason I'm calling out density is this. A density constant is a property of a medium. You know, just like waves that would you know, flow through water, for example, where water is the medium. In this case, there is a substance in the universe that allows waves to travel. Now, this medium is often referred to as the ether. And another important thing to note before we move on to possible explanation is the principal cause of all motion in EWT is a single law that states that particles move to minimize wave amplitude, which becomes energy. You can see an example there of a wave energy or amplitude is higher on the left side of the particle than it is on the right, causing a net force in the direction until wave amplitude is minimized, in which case there is no longer a force. And for more information on all of this, you can see a URL below. But I want to just do a quick recap of a couple of the key points before this, which is a possible explanation for dark energy. Now, first off, if you assume an ether exists, then that is an easy answer, which is energy is already flowing through the universe as waves. That is the energy. We can't see it. It's simply longitudinal wave energy, which does account for mass and for the electric force um, by way of um, uh, der deriving it, it also accounts for gravity, but that is in separate videos or papers that you're welcome to read. Going to stay focused here on what is dark energy. Well, in this case, it's just the longitudinal waves that are flowing beneath between the galaxies. But it still doesn't answer why is it accelerating, so we're going to go take that a step further. Right? In the EWT, longitudinal waves travel the aether and are reflected by particles. This is a very simple version, but it looks something like that, and that's what causes mass. Not going to get into that, but you can see again a uh, URL below for more information. And it's standing waves to create particles, and beyond it is traveling waves, which is constructive and causing the electric force. And this is what I mean by constructive. When there are more particles, there's more reflections, and that reflection increases the amplitude. You see this all the time in uh, electricity, for example. But the waves decrease in amplitude at the square of the distance from the reflection. Simple little animation there. The amplitude is, is now reduced further from those particles. All right, let's put this together now for dark energy. Now, if you assume that these waves are continuously reflected from all galaxies, Right? But it's stronger in the center of the universe, and that's just due to a higher concentration of mass from where all these reflections are, are coming from. And what that would do, and I circled a little galaxy here on the right just so you can see an illustration, what that means is there would be, from 
if you construct uh, all of the different waves from all the different sources, it would be higher from uh, the direction of the center. And uh, therefore, it would cause a force on particles, which is matter, which is stars and planets, which are galaxies, and it causes the galaxy to move away from the center, but also because uh, that's energy, and energy is a force, it causes it to accelerate. And there you go. That's one possible explanation for the mystery of dark energy.